Hey, what's going on everyone? Michael back with another video. So I make uh, SharePoint teams and Power Automate videos. So if you wanna learn more, go ahead and subscribe. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to customize your SharePoint site, the look and feel pretty much. So you have a few options with this. So first and foremost, uh, navigate to your SharePoint site. And let's go ahead and click on the cog wheel in the top right corner. And then we wanna to go to change the look. And you'll have three options here most likely. Uh, if you're using SharePoint online. Uh, first, you have the theme. So this is pretty much the color of the site. So we have a few themes Microsoft provides. If I go ahead and change it, you can see the uh, bun color will change. And if you wanna make a dark mode, you can go ahead and click on the dark yellow, or if you wanna make a dark blue, you go ahead and click on dark blue. And within this, you can also customize it. So you have a few colors you can pick from. And we got purple, as you can see, the buns change to purple, and then the accent colors. Uh, these are like minor details, but I usually like sticking with dark mode share points. Uh, these ones, they're all right, but um, you have more color options with these. And you probably want to match whatever your organization looks like. So that's uh, number one. We'll go ahead and change this to dark mode purple. Actually, I'll make it back white because it looks better in videos. All right, second option we have is the header. So if you can see we have marketing over here, if you make it minimal, just pretty much going to decrease the size of the header. Compact, uh, standard, and extended. I usually like to do, for me, compact. I like smaller, pretty much more, uh, less space on the screen. And you can also change the background, which would change the, uh, the banner. I usually like sticking with the uh, light background. If you want to see the site title, you can go ahead and do that. If not, and here you can upload logos or you can change the site logo. If you want to do that. And third, we have navigation. So you can either turn this off if you want to or leave it on. Probably most likely you want to keep it on. And then if you want to have it vertical, so if you want the navigation bar on the side, on the left-hand side, you can keep it on vertical. If you want a horizontal at the top, you go ahead and change this to horizontal. And then you can either do mega menus or cascading. I usually like keeping it, I mean, all they're usually depends on the user if they want to pretty much the look and feel of the site. I usually like keep it on vertical, but horizontal does look also pretty nice. And if your company or organization has a site template that you know of, uh, you can go ahead and use this option right here. Microsoft has a few templates you can choose from, but uh, we're just going to leave it on the team collaboration template right now. But that option is also available right here. And a third thing. So if you go into site information, uh, you can also change the site logo here. You can change the site name, site description. And let's go into the view all site settings here. All right, so pretty much under look and feel, these are your options. A quick launch. Probably don't want to mess with too much on this. It's just pretty much uh, the navigation bar over here. And you can just do that uh, with the edit link button over here. It's a lot easier to move things by dragging and dropping. Let's go ahead and move that back out and in alphabetical order. And change the look. So pretty much on this change the look, uh, Microsoft gives you a few templates you can choose from. And you about like 18 of these. So let's say I wanted to change it to... Uh, We'll go with this purple down here. Uh, you got the colors right here. So you can change it. Um, every different theme will have different colors you can choose from. I kind of like the, this one right here. Uh, the site layout. So Seattle's left-hand side navigation bar. Oslo is up at the top. We'll just keep it at Seattle. And then you can also change the font to um, whatever you want. We'll go with... Uh, Go with the Century Gothic. And then uh, you can try it out right here and see how it looks on the main uh, homepage. So if you don't like it, you don't have to keep it. But if you do, you can go ahead and keep it. So we'll, we'll keep it for now. There we go. So that's pretty much all the options to customize uh, your look and feel of your SharePoint. You can go in and pretty much change the homepage however you want. That's a lot more, a lot more flexibility you can do in there. So you can pretty much do a lot of things. 
Maybe I'll make a video on that, but won't do that right now. Go ahead and republish this. So if you like the video, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment. If you have any questions or uh, any video ideas, go ahead and leave it in the comments, and I'll catch you in the next one.